Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. Why is it not cat? Oh, hey everyone, you know. Oh, hey everyone. Why the hell is it? Give me a second to fix whatever's going on with the digital disguise. For some reason, it. Uh, reset position. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, now that that's done. Oh, hey everyone who may be watching now or later. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. The fearsome first mate trick here at your service. And welcome to. Well, Shantae. <laughs> Well, Shantae Risky's Revenge. This is the second Shantae yeah, game, and well, to be more accurate, it's Shantae Risky's Revenge Director's Cut, because this is the Steam version yeah, of, uh, well, to put it simply, this game originally came out on the, the DS, or rather DSiWare, which meant that it was a downloadable only title, I believe. And okay. <laughs> Yeah, so this this is basically a yeah, a DS game that's been remade to work with computers, specifically controllers, which, well, <laughs> mine hasn't seen a bit of work in a while, so let's put it to work finally. Oh dear. I was kind of surprised that they did remaster the first game. Yeah, that is a bit odd, but that game did come out for the Game Boy Color in 2002, so maybe... Mm. Yeah, they would need what? to do it from scratch, but it shouldn't be too hard in theory. True. And we have... I think we have shown off this game before on a uh, Showcase Sunday. I think we showed off one of them. Yeah, and I think it was this one. Uh, let's keep that... Uh, let's actually leave the controls alone because I got a bit furry. And uh, yeah, let's not waste time and just get started. Also, let's put these up because it's <laughs> it's DS resolution. It's four by three. So, phew! Life is a half genius hard work. Ever since I ran risky boots out of town, every monster in Seguin Land wants a battle. But holding back now won't help any. We're gonna have to hear him till it hurts. Yeah, Shantae's whole stick is that she attacks with her hair like that. Hello, uh, uh, man. And hello in the chat, Moon. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping it piratey after, well, we finished with Return of Monkey... No, not Return... We finished with uh, Tales of Monkey Island and thus the entire Monkey Island series so far. And yeah, we're, we're keeping it piratey by going with Shantae, who has her own little series of games, which should... <laughs> very, which should tide us over until Return releases. Oh dear. Yeah, I still got the moves. It, I got booped! <laughs> what? 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 What did I get booped for? <laughs> okay. Yeah. As you can obviously see, this is a 2D platform brawler. So, well, not really a brawler, so more a platformer. You just have her basic st movements. Just... <laughs> Wiggle, wiggle. Up, down, left, right, B, and such. She looks like a cat! Ready to bounce! We can't attack upwards, but we can attack in the air. And this here is Bolo. Hi, oh, yes, Shante. I want to see your uncle's show. Want to go with? Huh? The Relic Hunter Expert is today? Yeah. Scan Ranch flew in this morning just to see it. Oh my gosh, guys, I, I left it something in the bay. Then move a muscle. Oh uh, dear. Yeah, Bo Bolo is one of Shantae's friends, and yep. oh. unlike many other gay platformers, we can actually swim somewhat. We can't go underwater, but we can at least doggy paddle. I hope the is okay. Uh, it's probably going to be half baked, but <laughs> Shantae can be a bit half baked from time to time. Oh, there's a this noise. <laughs> what the hell is that noise? Good question. Got the egg. Let's go. Phew! It smells like grandma. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that's normal. We're the worst exiter ever. Don't blame me when Sky finds out. Jets. I, I feel even the Grudmon would be insulted by now. Yeah. And also, a, a quick side note. I'm not eating sandwiches today. Well, sort of. I may eat me the pizza sandwich yesterday. <laughs> uh, variety is the spice of life, huh? As long as it's a sandwich. Oh yeah, and I was rushing with the oregano. Just before the stream. <laughs> uh, the relic hunters are known worldwide for their unusual discoveries. I hope you see something truly amazing today. Oh boy. Today's Relic Hunter Expo. Plus, the old explorers always find the weirdest stuff from the old world. <laughs> I always pre register. And then we have this guy over here. All these boats coming in. Scuttletown ain't got room to dock them all. And as may have been noticed, the, the music in this game is quite good. It's actually very good in all of the Shantae games, if you ask me. Well, yeah. I'm I know quite little of the games, and I know what I read for the Wikipedia that that it was made by a woman, all of it, uh, along with the team, of course. But, but I forgot her name, but she was the one who got the idea for Shante and Mega Game for it, and she also did belly dancing. Maybe I don't know. Hey, Shante, it was a while ago, right? Yet. Sorry, mm. go on. What's it gonna take to get you back on stage? Quit being so shy. That's referencing to the fact that uh, Shantae belly dances as well. Which actually has a gameplay mechanic as well, because <laughs> she can trans yeah, she's half she's a half genie, so she can transform into other things. Can someone get this golem out of my way? Sheesh. And go oh, oh. Lark, no smash me. Uh, we can't damage it, so we can't go that way, which means that the only way we can go is up here. To the expo. Grasping the watch crystal. Helium. Go ahead. Was that future helium? <laughs> <laughs> also, some uh, small thing to note: I've, I I got a pair of new glasses specifically for monitors uh, because, well, I work in video security and, well, streaming is watching a screen for two uh, <laughs> two hours or more. And so far, the camera doesn't really seem to be too bothered with it, though it isn't catching me closing my eye yes, anymore for some reason. Oh, well. And grasping the white crystal firmly in hand, I ducked for several seconds at what appeared to be a common cliff face until blah blah blah. <laughs> Psst. You're late. It's your sworn duty to protect this town against the criminal element. Uh, are you. <laughs> is, Sky... is Sky inferring that uh, the old man's story is so bad it's criminal? <laughs> Aren't you a grump? I'm guessing training week was a bust? Total disaster. My warbird hatchlings literally flew the coop. <laughs> All besides wrench here. Speaking of which, do we have my egg? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, Malloy. So, did you, good take care, did, did you take good care of him? Spoil him rotten. <laughs> no. <laughs> you would better have. Hold on a sec. So... Oh. It's time. And with my em empty bowels replacing the treasure, I was able to outwit the pressure trap and make my escape. <laughs> Must have been a pretty shitty trap. Ew. Citizens of Scuttletown, may I present this year's object of mystery? Ooh, murmur. Incredible man. He holds bottles. <laughs> Such bravery. Uh, yeah, this series has been 
has been a task a tad risque from the very start. As usual, yeah. we kick off the festivities <laughs> by cracking open a fossilized treasure and offer the contents up for auction. This year's mystery object appears to be encased in solid stone, but feels quite hollow. So I smash it open. Hey, do it! Clap, clap, clap! <laughs> and let the festival begin! Well, that's something. Ooh. What is that? It looks like... An oil lamp? Uh, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, my mistake. I seem to have, uh, brought the wrong item. That is... It's okay, uncle. Show us. Yeah, Chante is related to this guy. Show us, yay! <laughs> no, I mean, no, it's not important. Let's move on to the next event. Please turn your attention to... Uh, the giant hole in the roof. <laughs> and the ongoing heist. Oh ho ho! No need for alarm. I'm just dropping by for this. Risky boots. In the flesh. In the... Well, a lot of flesh. <laughs> Your spelunking uncle is always dredging up new collectibles. But this one, well, this tastes the cake, doesn't it? It's just a worthless lamp. Well, we all know how things go with genies and lamps. Put it back before there's trouble. Tsk, tsk. We have no idea the trouble that's in store. Heave ho, man. Hoist my booty through the roof. <laughs> Like I said, risque. <laughs> and put your backs into it. Fortune must follow. That lamp is extremely dangerous. Sky, Bolo, one of you catch her before she reaches the dock. No way, I can handle this. Oh dear. And oh, noon! <laughs> No sign of Risky Boots, or her pirate ship. If I've lost her, I'll never leave it down. <laughs> Yo-ho! Genie girl, looking for me? Risky. I'll give you one last chance to hand over that lamp. If not, things are gonna get ugly. They're going to get ugly, all right. Let's see how you handle my brand new steam-powered oceanic tinker tub. Boss fight. Oh dear. <laughs> Lock and load, man. And these are the, the tinker bats. I don't know if they, they get named at some point, but I'm not sure if they get named in this game specifically. It's time for Whiskey's Revenge, so let's start aggressively. Damn, title drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can't actually do anything to it at the moment, but we can set off the explosive in its face. Damage it. Oh, there it is. Okay, now it's in the water. Uh, risky. Oh dear. Okay. Gotta say that the sprite work is still very impressive. There we go again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way forward are very good at what they do with sprite work. Right? At the very least in the Shantae games, they uh, their library of games is a bit uh, mix oh, mix and match with what with actual good uh, games from what I know. Oop. There we go already. <laughs> Not bad. You've learned a thing or two since our last duel. But no matter. With this lamp, I finally got the means to crush Seguin, uh, Seguin Land. However you're supposed to say that. <laughs> Once and for all. Till then, play with this. And... Yeah. <laughs> He wouldn't be a pirate without going for a cheap shot here and there.
Shante, wake up. Are you alright? No, oh, she got away. Remain still, leave the situation to Sky and Bolo. But. Well, this is a fine how do you do. Laying down on the, you know, lying down on the drop while the pirate runs pell mellow over my town. Ever since this pirate thing started, Skull Clown's been going to the dogs. Mega Scuttlebutt. Please understand, she's doing everything possible. Fully with half jeans. For a whole town, we need complete protection. Back up your things and clear out. You're fired. I'll ain't an asshole, huh? What? You can't mean it. I do. And that's my final word on the matter. Now get going, I'm a busy man. Well, he was in rare form. He'll change his mind once I get that lamp back. No, I forbid you to go. Now you're acting weird and get, uh, weirder than the mayor. What is it about this lamp that's got you so worked up? I... I can't tell you. What? Why not? I promised your mother never to speak of it. That lamb caused a lot of suffering back in her day. Trust me. It's trouble. And better left forgotten. You can at least tell me why Risky would steal it. Is it dangerous? Well, if it caused a lot of suffering, of course it's going to be dangerous. Or not? No. Not anymore. The genies banished its magic long ago. They divided its power into three magic seals and hid them away forever. Even if the dark power was somehow restored, if you remember how to use it. And I intend to carry that secret to the grave. But uncle, this must know more than you th more than you think. Otherwise, she wouldn't have stolen it in the first place. It's true. The potential for e evil is too great. We have no choice. We must find all three magic seals before Risky Boots and us. It will be difficult and very dangerous. And afterwards, we must never speak of this again. Do you think you're up to the challenge? If it means saving our town from evil, you bet. I'll find those three magic seals and put an end to Risky's evil schemes once and for all. And with that, we're given freedom to go ahead again. Uh, yep. Yeah, this game is this game is basically uh, it's a Metroidvania, to put it simply. Yeah, uh, I didn't read the chat, by the way. Yeah, very fleshed out game. <laughs> I got kicked out of my old town and traveled here to start a new life. I really hope this town can accept me for me. And there we have the kid again. Have you seen the old coot in this town? He's the save guy. See him if you want to record your progress. See these arrow things on the ground? Folks call them jump pads. Jump off of one to launch forward or back. It'll take you straight to the town gate. Yeah, we, we encountered this in the uh, showcase Sunday as well. This is how we move between different... Well... <laughs> between the different layers in the game. Or in the areas at least. There was not many games that did this. <laughs> How do I get down from here? <laughs> you again? Make sure you stop by the shop for some magic before you go. I suggest a sport and storm pop. It's the most powerful weapon to start with, even if it is tricky to use. Uh, Wait. Yeah, there. Hmm? Uh, uh, I have another question. How does she get up there? <laughs> yeah, that is the question. <laughs> she probably... <laughs> She probably used one of the jump pads and got stuck. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Try visiting your pal Ronnie Tops. You, know, you can find her by your zombie wagon by heading east from the town gate. It's a straight shot through the field and forest. Yeah, Roddy Tops is another of Shantae's friends. Let's see. Have you seen the other fishermen in this town? Talk about fat. <laughs> That's the... <laughs> they're, they're the oh same exact dear. circumvents. 
So, uh, um, pot and cattle. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there are a lot of characters to talk to here. You've been skipping your belly dance classes. No wonder you can't remember any transformation dances. If you're feeling rusty, hold the dance button to do a practice dance, which is, well, what this was. Um, yeah, that's the explanation as to why Shantae doesn't have her transformation power. She got... <laughs> she was being too freaking lazy. Here we have Sky's Place. Are you not sure what to do next? Uh, come talk to me, Bolo, or Uncle Mimic. Yeah, that's his name. You can find all three of us here in Scuttletown. From now on, don't be afraid to ask for help. And she doesn't Uncle seem to have noticed it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see uh, the old guy. That makes me instantly concerned. <laughs> He's not like the chest mimics. Let's see. I love to run. I could always walk, but then I'd have to hold down my attack button all the time. Mm. Not really something that has much use, I think, but still, a nice thing to do. And this is the save guy. We'll see him throughout the entire series. We don't need to go in there. Yeah, the controller can be a bit sensitive when it comes to, uh, well, pressing sideways and up. I heard the zombies park their wagon in the Tangle Forest. Just think about it gives me goosebumps all over my body. Right here and here and here. Don't leave town without a sequin lamp now. It shows all the safe rooms in the set. You can get one at the shop. They're super cheap. Okay. I'm famous for a magic jam. It spreads like a dream and tastes like a blood of heaven. Too bad monsters hijack my latest batch. If you find a magic jam, don't just give it away. Trade it for something valuable. And that's that totally sounds like the start of a trade quest. Yep. <laughs> I did visit the shop. I traveled from uh, far off lands to check it out myself. But once I arrived, I had no money left to buy anything. And we're just wandering aimlessly on this roof. I haven't eaten jam in years. The same. It is tasty, but it's not exactly healthy. And yeah, when you buy it, you get a very big bucket. So yeah, at the very least, it stays good for a hell of a long time. True. And yeah, everyone is advising us to go to the, the bloody shop. Welcome to the import room. We used to carry all kinds of treats from lands beyond, but since these pirates showed up, our shipments have stopped. Completely. If only I could do something about it. I'm not entirely sure if... I'm not entirely sure about that uh, room. It could be that it has something to do with uh, importing stuff from the old game or something. Or maybe it's part of the trade quest. For now, though... Yeah, this is a shop. We can... Just Buy some health potions, magic potions, and the spells. The fireball, which is a long-range attack. The pike ball, which is a more defensive spell. And that storm puff that they told about. There's also, let's see, attracts drop items like a magnet. Okay. Magic fill. Your magic feeder refills automatically. Okay. And silky cream. <laughs> Repair split ends for faster whipping. Basically, this will allow us to, well, attack faster. For now, though, let's get the map. And, well, we don't have enough gems for anything else. So we'll just have to leave it at that. Oh, dear. Okay, they're just going to keep talking about <laughs> getting something from the shop. Got to accessorize. Get some silky cream from uh, from that for, yeah for that hair. It gives your hair full body and repair split ends. Okay, I don't know if their dialogue actually changes over time or not, but for that we'll just have to see. For now, we move over here, and uh, yeah, it looks like this guy might have been <laughs> headbutting the wall a bit too often with a face like that. Are you right, lad? 
Keep a sharp eye on your heart meter. Once you run out of hearts, it's game over for you. If you make an important uh, discovery, be sure to hit a save room afterwards. Now, I believe... Okay. No. Uh, it's a bit annoying with the controller, because to the accept button is B, and the back button is A, which is the, the reverse of the typical, I believe. And yeah, here's the map of what we know. Uh, we can't go... Let's see, can I bring the mouse back in again? Uh, no, it remains hidden. But okay, we can't... I, I, I can see it. Yeah, uh, you can see it on the on OBS, but not on the game itself. But um, okay. let's see. <clears throat> I believe those uh, rooms, uh, rooms with the pillar and the pink thing are either fast travel points or safe rooms, probably safe rooms. And we can't go too far in either direction. I, I think there is actually, there should be more than just this. But again, uh, it's been a long while since I originally played this game. I have to say, I like with this different dialogue, with that, that other option change over time. But it also depends on the game, like with extremely many NPCs, like extremely many, then it's hard to bother, always there's a reason to do it, like special side quests or something. Yeah. Left of town is the pumpkin field, so off to the right is the lilac field. Try not to get lost. And, well, let's head over this way first. And this is the moment where I just fell in love with this series. Yeah, that's some good music. The funny thing about this is this, this track is called We Love Burning Town. Oh, come on. I mean... I just know saying I'm I'm popping my head to this. <laughs> and you're dancing as well. We can't reach Moon, that yet. Are you dancing with us? <laughs> oh, another reason I'd also like to but there's a dialogue change over time is well lore? I can find lore dice. Yeah, it, it can, the, the it flashes out the world. Lore. Hmm? Sorry? It, it flashes out the world more. Yeah, but sometimes it's just random gibberish, but can work too. Green stranger, I'm what you call a warp pedestal. It's my job to zap for and zap folks from place to place. I'd like to help you out, but until my warp brothers wake up, I can't do squat. Okay. So, yeah, it is warp rooms, <laughs> not safe rooms. So we'll have to be careful. And yes, we can enter small places like that, but we can't. Again, we can't get to that e that chest either. So we but might as well head out. Miss that urn. Uh, we, there's plenty of those all over the place, but maybe it has maybe it has a heart. They respawn anyways. Nope, just magic. And we don't have any spells, so magic is pretty useless at the moment. Ow. Also, I hope the audio balancing is pretty good. The game isn't too loud or soft or anything. That's just good enough for me on my end. Uh, how is it for you that noon? It'll be using noon often as a... to make sure the things work well. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is really good, working good. I couldn't, uh... Okay. Okay. Uh, I go to new. I, I want to give him a little joke title, but just forgot the title will be. Pardon. Uh, senior tester <laughs> or that? <laughs> and audio engineer goat fairy. <laughs> that sounds adorable, actually. Okay, let's see. Oop, what have we here? Oop, healing. And okay, a chest. And okay, was I think that was okay. That was just a bunch of uh, a bunch of coins or well gems. Glad to be made of service. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, this over here is, it's just nice that they mark out pits of death like this, that you don't go you know, thinking, is there anything down there only to jump down and immediately die? Yep. That's probably the first time I see they give over that kind of warning in any platformer game. More games should do that. Yeah. It's just quality of life stuff. Now then, let's get rid of that one. We don't know exactly where to head for yet. So, so at the moment, we can only really go exploring around, and that's another chest that we can't reach. But now I'm curious, all the purple rocks? Uh, don't know what these things are, but we can't get them. That's for sure, though. Looks like apples. Think apples. Yeah, it could be wild apples or something. The moment. What's over here? Oh, it's another warp. It also be pomegranate. Eh? What's that? Come on, is it morning already? Yes. Okay, time to clock in. Warp spreads are on the job. And Warp that's spreads. it's a one ex one entrance room. Uh, let's gotta deal with these. Yeah, we need to find the zombie caravan first, or the zombie wagon first, before we can uh, well, figure out where the hell to go. Okay, so I think those are pomegranate those fruits. Could be. Let's see, I... Th okay, I think they're... Wait. Are they directly to the right from here? But th there's a platform you just walk past. No, we already went into here. So, yep. wrong button. I think we we should, we should probably head for this the skull over there. So, this way, and where is the next jump path that goes deeper? Not this one. There it is, up there. Okay, we were close earlier. <laughs> yeah, we can't deal with those yet, so they'll continue blocking our path. So we'll be forced to go this way. Another death pit. More of those annoying spiders. <laughs> Okay, is this? Yep, it's a save room. Yeah, these are pretty frequent in the this series. Perhaps a bit too frequent. But oh well, the, you're not forced to. You're not forced to save, so it is your own uh, prerogative if you make you use of the too many of them that there are. <laughs> Who's out there? <clears throat> the lunch career. If you don't have my tasty meal, get lost. Well, that's one hint to go for. Okay. <laughs> yep. That jump pad. Snake ladies! Yeah, I believe the term is Naga. Yeah, they either Naga or Lamia. There's also yes. a Kidna, that is also a variant. Okay. And whose place is this? Yep. And also Gorgon and Medusa. Welcome, Miss. I'm very sorry, but today's order are all backed up. My dream has always been to become a master chef, traveling the world with my pup, Wobble Bell. But he seems to have run away, and with drought him to inspire my dishes, my dream has fallen into ruin. If you find him, please tell him I miss him. Oh, Wobble Bell. I miss my pup so much. Oh, it's another objective to get. Uh, uh, let's uh, double uh, check them. Uh, about snake ladies, here's a fun pack. Medusa is a Gorgon. Yep. 
Uh, many people think Medusa is the name of the species, and they don't mistake that. Oh, let me name this species Medusa. No, she's a Gorgon, people. She's a Gorgon. Yeah, in Dungeons and Dragons, you do have a species called Medusa, but those aren't exactly the same. Yeah, that, that's also a mistake due to they also, when they made the game, they also they fell into a pit of a very old beastery mistake. Like, someone who wrote a beastery long ago actually made a mistake when he wrote this book. He put the wrong name on the wrong creature for an armor plated bull or even scales that really fire. This also transfers from Dungeons and Dragons and Heroes of Magic Magic. It's a Gorgon, they call it, by mistake. And centuries later, Dungeons and Dragons and Heroes of Magic Magic does the same mistake as well. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we'll need to... F the sequence is pretty uh, clear. We need to find that pup to get to the chef, so we can get the meal to get in that dungeon. Uh, see, I'll, I'll probably be connect, I'll probably be <laughs> opening up the map a lot of times in this game to try and figure out where to go. So for now, uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Oh no, 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 man! Another thing: Echidna originally is a goddess. I think the no. wife of Typhon and. No. Oh yeah, Achilles is the mother of Hydra and Cerberus and others. Yeah, uh, do you mean Arachne? Because Echidna is, uh, well, Knuckles. It, it, they, they were named after her. For some okay. reason. But Echidna is a goddess, and she gave birth to the Hydra, Cerberus, Nemea Lion. And Arachne, the Spider-Woman was... Uh, uh, Human got, that got cursed. Oh, uh, yeah. Because she challenged Athena to a, a weaving contest, and well, Athena was being a sore loser that day. Yeah, they, well, the Greek was awesome. They are also quite outright terrible to humans. Yeah. And when I compare it to other ancient religions I read about, it seems. They won't. They only got the most jerks to humans, or the Greek ones. Ah, uh, here we are. The fun. We could have gotten here just from getting in a straight bloody line, but we didn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is Ronnie Tops. <laughs> hey, snack cakes. What's shaking? You still owe me a brain, you know. Stop it, right Tops. You just missed my brothers. We've been doing a local... Uh, we've been doing a, a wagon tour, sampling the local cuisine. Here. We have got to try one of these. And... Roddy Tops. <laughs> this is someone's pet. Where the whack where you found it? Come on, just a scout's taste. Well, she is a zombie after all, an intelligent one, but still a zombie. Never mind, I'll return this puppy myself. Look, Roddy, I need your help. Have you ever heard of a magic seal? Not ringing any bells. I'll check the web. And with that, she means a quite literal web. <laughs> Hey, what is that thing? Ah, uh, he's my chit chat spider. Zombies use them to communicate across long distances via web vibration. Seriously, you should see our network. It's like worldwide. Like a worldwide web. The pawn but so in a way brilliant? In a way? Yeah. I just send the message out and another zombie will answer back in no time. She's just speechless. None of my pals have heard of a magic seal. Sorry, Chica. So what? Are you just typing at the the air, Roddy? 
I think she's touching the web for, to make the vibrations. Probably. Can you locate Risky Boots with that? Yeah. Look. She was spotted in Scuttletown today. Yeah, we already knew that. I was there. It was just this morning. After that, she traveled up the coast, shaking down locals. She's looking for the three barons of Sequin Land. Yuck, the thing's full of bug nests now. Barons of Sequin Land? Who are they? Thieving bandits who pass themselves off as artifact collectors. They mostly gather old magical trinkets and such. Oh, gross, now he's got a worm. Artifact collectors. Risky thinks one of them has a medic seal. The Squid Baron, the Ammo Baron, and the Hypno Baron. According to this, the Squid Baron lives here in the forest. If you're thinking about stopping by his place, better be on your toes. I'll stop my search with the Squid Baron. Thanks, Roddy. So many internet puns, including worm, is also an internet pun. And yeah, if you ever get a worm in your PC, buy a new PC. Yeah, that thing ain't going anywhere. It's just going to well, bur burrow its way into your files and get stuck. Uh, Earth. Let me break the PC outright. I, I think worms are one of those things that can actually force a PC to burn itself. Yeah. And either there was a bit of screen shake there or something was going on. Maybe? Now, I, I thought the screen shook for some reason whilst we were airborne. I, but, yeah. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention for that split moment. Yeah. Could have been something I yeah, mistook for something else. Maybe I actually took a hit in midair. For now, save and well, we know where to bring the dog. Queen and we've got Barrow. quite a bit I of coin. Worry. Sorry, go on. Man, I was just stating we've got a, we've got quite a bit of coin now. So after this, we can go back to town and get some spells. Yeah, you probably need that. The magic, the magic isn't necessary, but it is useful. Uh, here's another thing I learned thanks to other friends showing me fan art. Is that is a apparently in special Naga Ishante series who does not have arms and keeps sleeping in an urn. Oh, that one, yeah. She's in Half Genie Hero, the fourth game. Well, All this right. is the second, so we will have to get through this one and the next first. Wait, what's her name? I don't know. If, I don't actually know what her name is. Me either. <laughs> can it be? Is that my Wobble Bell? Please, can I have my precious pop back? Uh, yes. Wo oh. Wobble Bell, you're back. Seeing you again fills me with vigor. Krumbis, can you ever, can, how can I ever thank you? I know. I'll celebrate by trying out my latest recipe. Stand back and watch me sizzle. I I think I just got the yoke here. A bit over dramatic uh, cooking. I expected more than that. Yeah. Well, um. That's how we cook up a tasty meal using only natural ingredients. Now that Wobble Bell is back home safely, my dream of becoming a famous chef can finally come true. Right, Wobble Bell? I want then... to... Go ahead. Go on. Uh, uh, you... uh, I was to say, you see the yolk there, right? The Wobble Bell, Taco Bell. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to just make the connection, and I wonder if that it was intentional. Uh, knowing the creators of this game, possibly. For now, though, delivery. What does it have a smell? 
bread snap. Is that a is that tasty meal? Hurry up and bring it inside. And with that, we open the gate to the first dungeon, I believe. So, of course... One alien! No, you mean mean! Hmm? They tell you to hurry up and send you run away! <laughs> and yeah, no, the layer system is really cool in this. It, it really... It opens up a lot more to each area without actually making it bigger. And, or at least I sideways. <laughs> Your delivery boy? It's about time you got here. I put in my order my, my order in hours ago. I'm famished. I'm not a boy. Whatever. As long as you brought tasty meal, hand it over. Wait, is that Man that is a spot. By the way, are we? I'm looking for a magic seal. Can I hear you have it? Yow! Um, okay. Look, no need to get worked up, right? Let's both be reasonable. Can we be reasonable? I guess. Okay, then. Dine and ditch! <laughs> <coughs> that guy is so dead. Oh! Yeah, that is so dead. You. Yeah, do, don't do that, people. Don't do that. Then, yeah, that actually is the Squid Baron. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Okay, typically when a chest is hidden in a wall like that, there's a crawl space somewhere, and. Well, we just found it. Or not. But I will count as a crawl space. There's a tiny one. Are those okay. demon crabs? Uh, yep. Okay. I'm just breaking all of the pots just for the gems that we can find. Up more death pit. But there is a pretty good reach on our attack with this. It just takes a moment for it to come out. But I'd say that's a pretty good trade-off. Uh, range for attack speed. And, well, we can up our attack speed in the shops and... Nope. I don't think a Tetris there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Can we... Oh, Okay, it seems to be a bit more selective with what blocks will be destroyed than I thought, but okay. Uh, those crabs are so big. Sorry, go on. Oh, well, what is this for? Hmm. Moving on. Yep. It, again, this controller is being... is really sensitive at times with upwards movements. Are those dragon heads or narwhal heads? How about dragon narwhals? That sounds like a nightmare combination. Okay, wait for it to fire. Okay. One room cleared, with no another room cleared. Oh, come on, noon! Come on! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really leave Hillia to read that out loud. Uh, okay, I can't jump down through these. <laughs> Angry Dark Hair Hats, yeah. Or, no, that, that is what happens when we feed Drakir sp anything spicy. I, I have you know, I like spicy food. I eat sriracha after all. And we got a key. Nice. Okay. Hmm. 
Your one looks rather busted over here. Please, no, bully Drakia. <laughs> he will burn you. You can prevent forest fires since me and Drakia some candy and cake. I'll be grab some cake, sure, so, but I, I have cut down on candy and that's I only should eat chocolate for about a bit of chocolate now then. And what the? Oh. No, thank you. What unusual night weapon? Yeah, unusual, but also dead now. I don't know if that's a design that actually returns or not. Okay. I think that the, I think the jars in safe rooms always have hearts in them, no matter what. Okay, that, that kind of means that it, it is somewhat easier to get regain health. Yep. See, these, oh, these flip over when we hit them. I think they have crabs about that size in real life. I think those yeah, are they will turn coconut down. crabs? Could be. There are some pretty big-ass uh, types of, uh, of crab. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, yeah, then we have the spider crab, but... Yeah, no, that was more big due to how long its legs and arms are. Yeah, the daddy, lo the daddy long legs of crabs. Yeah, then we have those land crabs that well, they live in water and land to eat coconuts and all, and can be damn big. And apparently, have been known to, when pissing, being pissed off, snap of people's fingers. I, I think most crabs can do this if you if you get their if you get your fingers uh, stuck in their pincers. Yeah, but if they, if they are big like those, as we see here, they could take off more than your fingers. Okay, it's not a hidden <laughs> thing. <laughs> it looks so adorably silly when she does, she does that. She looks like a cat ready to pounce on someone. Okay, I'm guessing this is going to lead us to another key. Yep, oh, almost fell down. Luckily, these things stop for a moment after they've spun, giving us a moment to jump on. Oh, and another one of these. Two of these. Uh, yeah, magic really would have been useful now, I'd say. Okay. Nice sound effects. There we go. Uh, uh, I originally thought this game came out for the Game Boy Advance, but no, it's for the DS. This um, one is for DS, yeah. I think the first one was for, yeah, for Color, Game Boy Color. Advanced. Yeah, for, for Game Boy Color. All right. Uh, oh yeah, I think it was planned for Advance, but the uh, DS. When they, they came, DS was already on the horizon, so they waited instead to make it for yeah. DS instead. And also they felt like the DS would have, well, better uh, ways to make the game more exciting. Which I think from seeing this, they write on, probably. For what at was, was impressive, it wasn't this impressive. Yep. And yeah, we made a skull and summoned a bunch of these guys, which... Yeah, I'm guessing we're going to get that key once we deal with all of these. Oh, oh, that still hurts. Okay. Temporary pumpkins? 
Yep, we brought up pumpkin bombs. Yeah, a certain green goblin is going to sue, I guess. I must not think of if Edward Stoneworm is... N well, it's not Halloween yet. The oh no, I, I somehow I'm now thinking of Fallout Boy. <laughs> the Acolyte is in July. <laughs> Wait, it's August now. So yeah, I don't even that makes sense. We're going, we're going to need to find some hearts. Yeah, you're probably going to need good... Actually, yeah, you probably need to get hearts and return to town. Oh, I suspect you want to fight the boss with some spells. Yeah, if I recall correctly, the Squid Baron is actually pretty easy as the first boss. But... Hmm. Yeah, how many times have you heard you said pretty easy to just get your ass completely whooped? There we go. Whoa, am I wrong here? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I forgot we have this back dash move. Actually, when I originally played this game, I didn't actually you know that you could do this. It just gets can't get through the wrong do wrong door for one, and get some distance from enemies. Very nice. Nope. Just what we need. Yes. Another one of these. Um, wait, hold yeah. on. Did he have a self-destruct in his jar? Apparently. No, yeah, they're, those are basically just uh, tourists that you can actually kill off. You, you said turrets, right? Yeah, they're basically the same as uh, uh, the, the spitting heads, only these you can actually take out. Alright, I for a moment I thought I misheard you. For a foot first, you said tourist. <laughs> okay, let's hope that this one stays as it is. Actually, we, we can just dump that. No need for an extra heart. Hello there. Who approaches my magic fountain? I sense a restless energy deep inside you. Channel your passions and allow the magic to take shape. Yet we got our first transformation. Simply hold the dance button and release it during your first belly dance move to transform. The monkey dance will allow you to climb walls and leap to new heights. To change back, press the dance button. May fortune follow you in your travels. And that was one of the genies. Right. And this is Monkey Shante. Oh dear. Already worried for everyone's sake. <laughs> you. Okay, moving on. Oh, another one of these. Yeah, a tad too close. Luckily, it doesn't do too much damage, even on contact. Oh. One heart is not one health. All right, that's good. Yep. Let's 
attempt to monkey around. We can't climb these studded walls, though. Looks a bit weird, says you expected to be able to climb on those instead of smooth ones. What is it? This rules be spiked. Maybe. You're able to stand on the head. Yeah, <laughs> and climb on it for a hot, for a moment as well. Oop, a bunch of gems. Yeah, okay, nice steadily making process, uh, progress. Uh, wait. This place can't be a dead end. Is this some yeah, health? Yeah, I full health? First, I thought it was a health upgrade, but no. Up oh, there we go. Ah. Sneaky. Yeah, that is more, definitely more. And not through there, at the very least, but we can go up here. And now we're back at the start. It's... Nothing in there. The way you flays around. There we go. <laughs> and... <laughs> Magic jam. Okay. Wait, does that mean that the, the squid baron <laughs> stole that woman's jam? Well, possibly. You'd think Magic she'd be able to give toast? a description of big ass squid. Damn it. No, 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 I want toasted bread with jam on it. I am an alien. I already told you of uh, my preference for uh, yeah, toast with uh, liverwurst on it. And you actually tried it as well, I think? Yeah, with liver paste, if that's yeah. the same thing. It should be. Yeah, it was damn tasty. Already need to defend, I need to take a break from it, so I'm not overdoing it. As well. Once you open all those packets, you need to eat them up within five days. Okay, now we know we can, what this is for. Yep, it, it's another magic gem. Um, so you have enough to share with me a new? <laughs> uh, maybe. Is so there anywhere here to... Another, I don't actually remember if you get maps for these dungeons or not. Hmm. Now let's return to the center. Of the earth? No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with those uh, liver paste uh, packages, uh, one of the brands over here actually has something really smart with that, because they basically sell a bag. Uh, with uh, portions sec uh, with portions separately uh, packaged in them. So yeah, you, you can just buy a bag of that and then just use one uh, packet each time. Blue paste in bags. Yeah. They what are. What heresy is this? <laughs> I'll send a picture to you later of it. I don't think I want to, but that's... That sounds weird to me. Yeah, it's not in bags, it's like a... Pla almost plastic capsules. You mean a plastic pot? Wait, how do you usually get your little paste? Uh, there's generally two ways. Like in a... In a big packet that you have to open, but then is left exposed to the air after, uh, which, yeah, you do have to f finish up in a few days before it starts to spoil. And, well, what I've described just now. Yeah, I think you have a, a plastic uh, can and metal, maybe, or a bit of a tinfoil thing? Hmm. Or is it more, a more different kind of clear paste that you don't 
that you would take slices instead of uh, using like a butter. Okay. No passageway here. I, I guess you go for the one I can just use it like a butter. Okay. Uh, another one of these. Let's see, what are we making this time? Nothing on this end, at least. Hmm. What's with the sound when she crawls? Okay, I think this is supposed to be one of those uh, dragon heads or something. Okay, nothing on I those. Need, I need the one uh, over there above your head. There we go. Or not? We'll be tanky. Yeah, they 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 take the yeah they take just three hits like all the other ones we've seen so far. Okay. This was more a case of just annoying positioning more than anything else. Oh dear. So, let's go look for some hearts and the door that this key is for. Yep, uh, be right back. Oh, did this talk about sandwich which we want another one? <laughs> I blame Helion. Uh, let's... Where was there a door with a key? We ran by one earlier. We can't exactly go back up the same way, even with the climbing ability. So we'll just have to go back. Actually, let's have a check up here. Nothing there, nothing there. Might as well save while we're here. We can just shortcut a bit. And back. Welcome back. Okay. And now we're back here again. Okay. In most, in most Metroidvania game, like in most Metroidvania-like games, uh, the enemies in those rooms would have respawned, but in this case, not. But so have, yeah. You know, so all the items don't respawn. Okay, I can see the resemblance with those things to my face now. <laughs> Probably the face I make whenever Hino makes a very bad pun. Here again, these have respawned. No, we didn't break those, I think. Okay, now, where was that other door? And also, I kind of think I like the idea that the enemies don't respawn for. It can be a good hint to know if you're walking the right direction or not. Now, this game does have backtracking that you have to do every now and then to, to, find, to get access to other paths, so. <laughs> it might not actually be that good of 
missing. True, but it makes backtracking easier at least. True. Because you don't need to fight for your life all the time. Okay. Uh, we can use the monkey form to climb up here. That was the magic jam. Mm. There we go, much faster. Okay, there has to be some way to get to those bricks, or those pots. Actually, yeah. There we go. This will probably just be more gems, yep. But still, nice to have. You missed more gems, I think. Not these, at least. Okay, monkey. And now we're back here again. So that was the wrong way to go. Still, we got coins out of... We got money out of that. Is it this way, then? I can't think you, you about to land and get burned by the torches. Hmm. Got water here. Hmm. Right. I don't think this was the, the way. Nope. Did the mute? Okay, the music restarted. Have we been up here? Actually, I think we have. Just the other way around. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is shortcut to skip all of that. Okay. Hmm. I think we did use that. Oh, it's up here, I think. We don't need to... We don't need to leave. Come on, Shante, back, back in there. Don't know what she was yeah, that, climbing there for a moment. That's one of the moments I thought you were about to get burnt. Okay. Open up. Heal up and save up. Because I think this is probably going to be the boss room. Oh. Here we get his boss kick in three, two, one. Final refills, we're full health, and in, in the snake gate we go. So, you managed to solve my labyrinth, but it won't do you any good. My magic seal is, my, my magic seal is staying right here. Me and my babies are ready to tussle. Uh, yeah, he actually summons these little bastards and... Don't ask me exactly what he's doing with that. <laughs> Either it's some sort of summoning spell or it's him... Oh. <laughs> Committing... Uh... Infanticide there. Oh, that... Okay, just gotta keep punching him. This one, yeah, just wait for where the eyes show up. That's the one where he actually, well, attacks. <laughs> or drops in on you. He 
doesn't actually track you with that one, which is nice. It crush its own kids! What the heck? Nope, I missed that one. Okay, you just gotta keep on beating on him until he gives up. Oop. Oop. Now he's getting closer with that. And okay, that actually takes out all of them. Oop, moving on the wall quickly. Uh, yeah, if you if you're not moving upwards, eventually Shantae will just start float, uh, sliding down the wall. Okay, come on, keep it up. And yeah, we can get some hearts from the little guys. You can probably beat on him until he starts to do that little run-up thing. Oop. Okay, he actually got us one. one. Ooh, How much of that meal does it ha have? Enough. <laughs> okay, go. He's gotta be getting close. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Perfect timing there. <laughs> the face! <laughs> Gimme! Yeah. You gotta admit, this is a good 3D effect, even if it is just pixel art. Very damn impressive. I can see why they did not go for the advance, for this advance could not handle this. It's too advanced for the advanced. <laughs> yeah. Risky boots. Well, 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 I see you managed to beat me to the first magic seal. Nicely done. I'll be a good girl and hand it over. Not a chance. Back off or I'll smash this thing to pieces. My, no need to be hasty. I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of each other down the line. Ta-ta. And there we go. One dungeon down, one seal get, and we still have time to go. Yep. And now so, time to buy some spells. Yep. <laughs> okay. I don't actually know where we would need to head off next though, but we can probably ask Sky or Bolo or Uncle Mimic. They'd probably give us some hints as to where to head for. Most likely. Actually, actually we can use the monkey form now to get around some places. Yeah. Hello. What? Yeah. Oh, it's an enemy. For a moment I thought it was a, a pickup or something because it looks like Shantae transformed as a bat. Yeah, but no, no, it's just something that won't eat you. Oh. Yep. Okay. No little hidey holes? Nope. Oh, uh, yeah, we're not getting pot. We're not getting over that. <laughs> so we need another transformation to get through there. So yeah, let's head back to town. That face I'm falling. <laughs> she probably had the most very impressive fall animation. Okay. No need to save. Now you made save guy sad.
<laughs> it's hard to not wanna dance, ain't it? Yep. Uh, let's see, I don't think we can... can see me dance. <laughs> Sadly interrupted the music there. Actually, we could have gotten, we could have gone for the warp spread in the forest, but oh well. There we go. Anything new? Skagavers are supposed to help protect the fields. What went wrong? Okay, so their dialogue does change. At least some of them does. We run out of the visitor badge. Yeah, visitor badges. This is bad. Retracing your steps is a great way to find rare treasures. Okay, I'm guessing everyone is going to have new dialogue now. Yeah, but there's some lure. When I grow up, I'm going to master fire magic. That way, I can burn away anything in my path. I worried about that uh, child. Take the high road. Zungs are always filled with goodies and come in all shapes and sizes. Smash them up. Wait, does that mean even... Not that one, though. That's an accessory. No one around here uh, could possibly smash a golem. So what's with the picket signs? I'm so pleased that you walloped that awful squid, Baron. I just know he stole three of my precious magic gems. Wait. Okay. Did we find three? No, we found two. Two and fro, two and fro. Pollard Bay is dangerous. Why does the mayor hang out there? He really needs an office. Okay, Miss Four. I like your hair. <laughs> Oh. As a child, I was raised by a family of squids. I never learned to warp, though. That's a power they have that I will never understand. <laughs> I'd save the world with you, but I'm on break. Lazy. Uh -oh. Nothing new here? What? Wait, how is she sitting by the desk? And yeah, she's sitting oh, behind it. the desk. Oh, no. She's laying on the desk. I need on to double check. <laughs> okay. Let's get the fire, and immediately we get you know, access to the upgraded version, Spitfire. Or we can buy it if he wants. Pike Ball, which becomes Super Pike Ball. And Storm Puff, which becomes Crush Puff. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. I think this one requires us to have three magic gems before we can buy it. Okay. Meantime, let's buy... Yes, that... They cost gems as well. Okay. We'll, we'll have to save up... Yeah. Uh, then. For now, a... Wrong button. Some health potions are never a bad thing to have. I think we can only carry a certain amount of them. That's why the buy button was grayed out. Have you heard of the Ammo Baron? He lives out in the desert past the pumpkin fields. His eyeball creeped me out. Eyeball? Alright. When I was a little boy with a full beard, I dreamed one day I was going to be a fisherman. But now I am. There's a lesson there for you, Shante. Like, shave early on. You met a dance spirit? Okay, so it wasn't a, uh, a genie, it was a dance spirit. Lucky, I hear they reflect the face of those who find them. Is that true? Okay, that explains that. 
Yeah, but it looked very, really like Shantae, a bit too much. Yeah. Have we been to the forest cave? It has a locked door inside. Perhaps I'll tunnel in there one of these days for a look-see. Of course, it would be much easier if we had the missing key. Okay, so... I snagged one of them jam things in my net, but that dopey kid threw it back. Current probably carried it away by now. If only there was some way to swim down there and get it. Okay, that probably means that on the water there's one somewhere. <laughs> I'm a dopey kid. Oh. I feel strange on the inside and the outside. Okay. Okay. That's all the folks around. Uh, except for Sky. Have you figured it out with the... Uh, <laughs> Brent spotted a tent while flying over the desert. Maybe you should check it out. Okay, yeah, everyone is telling us to head for the desert. Yeah, and what were you to say? Hmm? Um... Sorry, you were to ask if I figured out something? Uh, no, I was just saying that everyone, everyone is telling us to go to the desert, so we might as well head there. Alright. Okay. This way now. Aren't you friends with Bolo? He went looking for you in the pumpkin fields. Oh, wait. Pumpkin? I'm, I'm pretty sure the G is extra there. Are we going to run into Jack Skellington? Do you like my hat? I like my hat. Those are these with guards? Yeah, the, those derpy guys are the guards. <laughs> okay, Bolo is supposed to be somewhere around here. And enemies will actually respawn if you walk back oh, on the screen to where they actually spawn from, I believe. Oh, hello, Bolo. Hmm, what's that? Good morning already. Yes. Okay, time to clock in. Warp spirits are on the job. Yeah, I think each and every one of them will have that same line. You need to see the mayor. He's at his happy place, the seaside retreat. It's on the far end of Polyp Bay. He's had to bribe you with this. <laughs> Run on the gems, okay. Oh, we'll get to see this used then for now. Yep, wrong button again, because A and B are somehow reversed in confirmation and, well, cancel. Excuse me, is that mayor always gonna be a jerk? Yep. And I, I think we're actually, yeah, we're actually further away from the town now, but oh well. Actually, can we get that chest now as the monkey? Yes, we can, because the monkey jumps higher. Oh, nice. A nice. heart holder? You can now take more damage than before. This game's uh, heart containers. Okay, so that okay, was yeah. worth that. Uh, sorry, go on. Uh, just that I said that was worth it to warp there. Uh, all right, uh, I, I want to say that uh, I could have probably stopped listening to the soundtracks. <laughs> Golem's still there. Uh, Polyp Bay must be back towards Shantae's place then. Or was he actually big enough of a dick to immediately take over Shantae's <laughs> lighthouse as his home retreat or something? Okay, no. I do like that, though, this game does not have full voice acting, that it still has uh, Shantae make a bunch of noises for things he does. Like gasping for air and such. There we go, Paula Olive. Bay. Olive. Olive. Oh no, what, I, I, why are we bringing for Eldritch Horrors? That? Nope. 
And that's what happens when you fall into one of the pits. And again. It does hurt you, it seems. What's she? Yeah, she's she's clapping her hands. <laughs> uh, just give her. What what do you do? Do you call those things actually? Oh, uh, I I know I I I have known the word for those instruments, but I've forgotten it as well. Nope, that was way too early. And I actually seen some of those instruments in real life, but it, but very Symbols? rare. But I don't know the the place that had them because I yeah, but they, uh, they placed that kid who visited also school, but parents were still working. Okay. Yeah, I think they ended up having to lock those away. I think they're called symbols or something. But I don't recall they are. Bloody loud! Yeah. Uh, so you may find the monkey version a bit annoying, but trust me, people, those are mild compared to the real thing. Yeah, can we? Okay, we can't do anything there yet, I think. Yeah, maybe in your flight. Uh, what the heck are those supposed to be? <laughs> she looks so excited. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is the cutest monkey I've ever seen. <laughs> Probably also the only purple monkey you've seen. Oh, hello. Uh, actually, no. I'm pretty sure I've seen some purple monkeys in Storebound. Okay, let's save, because we're close to dying from just falling to our death every time. Yeah! <laughs> what the...? Well, these totally don't look like an enemy from Metroid. What the heck are those? You're some sort of... crab turtles? Crab stealing turtle shells? Uh, actually, that sounds reasonable because you know, some hermit crabs use anything. Oh, hello, magic jam. Ah, so he stole it. Oh, the genie. I suppose you're still angry with me? Yes. <sighs> Word of spread. Now that the Risky Boots is uh, pulling revenge, Sequin Land uh, Palace is afraid to send wagons. Without our fishing trade, Skull Town is all washed up. I was hoping not to resort to this, but here. Okay, the town deed. What's this? The deed of Scuttle Town? A wealthy man from beyond the wastelands has been pressuring uh, me to sell the town. I resisted, of course, but now his offer is the only hope for our people. So after much thought, I've decided to turn the reins over to him. Life will never be the same, but at least Scuttletown will be provided for. There has to be some other way. If only there was. But I fear that making a tidy profit on the town moments before it's obliterated is the only solution. Please honor my request as a final act of service. Find the ammo baron and give him this deed. Well then. I don't trust the mayor at all. At the very least we can teleport away from this. Uh, I keep pressing A to confirm. But, yeah, the mayors are jackass. Yeah, for some more like he, he wants the money for yeah. himself. <laughs> now, this is basically what he said to sell, <laughs> that he's, he's selling the place 
before it gets blown up. Oh, that's how we equip it. And then we use it with the right shoulder button. Uh, I, I didn't say earlier, but this, the dash pack is the left shoulder button. Oh, nice to see her actually drink the potion. Uh, Osborne's so going to sue these things. Okay. Now that we actually yeah. have spells. There we go. Oh, nice. You, you hid yourself behind a plant we could not see. Well done. Oh, another jam. There we go. Oh, nice. No way. Was that a reference? I don't think so. And I forgot monkey form. We can also cast it in the air. And the scarecrows will actually catch fire because, well, they're scarecrows. Yeah, they, they said something about the scarecrows won't go that they were supposed to go the fields, but something went wrong. Another save. Barren deserts. The, ba the barren desert. There. Uh, okay, for annoying enemies, those bats do look cute. I saw you there. Yep. Shante. Hillian. <laughs> and it responds. Yep. Okay, that is what we needed. <laughs> we can't break that up. Two bastard bats. Two one. Two for one. <laughs> What have we here? Okay, that's probably how we're, we, we're, we were supposed to get across there. And new enemy! What the...? Yeah, the even the death animations on the enemies that actually have them are quite nice as well, huh? Yeah, but... What was it and what happened? It looks like some sort of sylph. Or something. And yeah, it just it gets dragged into the shadows. The shadows on the ground. Like, is that supposed to be a nymph? Dryad? Mm, could be. Why? It's a, it's a bit hard to say with the coloring. Yeah, and what place if I dry it to be? Same for a nymph. Like. I know there's water nymphs and tree nymphs and all that, and tree dryads and all that as well, but I've never heard of desert uh, nymphs or desert dryads. Stop the little biter in its tracks. Okay, we can't go anywhere else there. Are we supposed to... No, we can't. Okay, we can't send a fireball down that way. So there must be something else that needs to be done. Uh, let's check this way. Another path. Actually, 
We're Look good to go as monkey. Sound effect. Okay. Yep. Just more gems. Nice, but not entirely needed. Actually, how many... Okay, we have three magic gems, so we could get the uh, attack speed upgrade next time we get to town. And, yeah, the quickest way to get back to town would probably be by uh, warping to the pumpkin field squid. Don't get eaten by the... Bats or imps? <laughs> the effect is shown for on those. Where does this go? The other side. Nope. Uh, hello. <laughs> what the? Was the TNC T inside of mummy? <laughs> Apparently. There we go, that way we don't have to dodge both of them. For exactly that reason. Oh dear. Where actually are we now? Okay, we're there. Wherever there is. Holy. Uh. Okay, no gems from that one. In your cremation. Hmm. Yep. Oh, nice Hello. guy. Like almost every ca uh, all characters are dancing, and well, almost. Hello, name's Barracuda Joe, and this here is the battle tower. We got a passport? No. Sorry, kids, citizens only. Go see the Owl Baron, and listen, he'll get you straight to that. That or do a saucy dance. That's how Barracuda go <laughs> Joe got in. <laughs> Don't see. Um. Dear. Okay, so this place is going to be a bit of a maze with uh, having to find our way all around the place through these tunnels. Barracuda, you. That, that thing sounds familiar, oddly enough. But then again, there's many yo's in cartoon, movies, fiction, and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Only like Joe many. is probably the most used name in fiction and reality ever. Yeah, especially to like G.I. Yo, Barco Yo, Mighty Yo, and all that. Beautiful Joe. No, no, let's not be hasty. <laughs> Now we're back here. I would not be surprised if there is something called Beautiful Yo. No, Beautiful Joe. That, that's an actual game. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we still got 15 minutes, so let's try and find the Ammo Baron. Come on! Let's actually put this on. Yeah, that's what the pike ball does. Yeah, it, it does constantly drain magic. 
So it is to be careful with. And uh, yeah, we can't make that jump, so we we have to go through the caves. Luckily, the health drops do respawn as well. Otherwise, this would get quite annoying over time. This time, we're headed this direction to see where it heads. This is probably going to lead to the Ammo Baron. We'll attack from here. Oh, here. I'm watching out for evil. You. You are in a hearty boom. <laughs> what? You are a hearty boom, Lottie. <laughs> I don't get to see many of your kind in the middle of the desert like this. Okay, someone's getting a whipping later. Oh dear. Kablooey! Who are you? Kapow. The ammo bearer doesn't need another girlfriend. Bushwa. What he does need is that rundown rat's uh, hole, Scuttletown. It's the perfect staging ground for my new campaign. My men will march across the land like two tons of <laughs> tactical tin toy terror. <laughs> Rat a tat. Hey, that's my hope you're talking about. Hold up, girly girl. You got something for the Ammo Baron or not? Ammo Baron hasn't got all day. Yes, yeah, sadly, we do have something for him. Yeah! Blamity Blue. <laughs> I knew that old coot would knock knuckle under. I've got the deed to Scuttletown. That makes the new mayor me. The Ammo Baron. Click, clock, wait for it. Kabloosh. <laughs> yep, well about that. All my friends live on Scuttletown, and we're pretty happy with things the way they are. Don't you worry about the things, sweetheart. We're all family now. In fact, with me as the new mayor, that makes you my official citizen. Put it here, soldier. And with that, we get a passport. No, pass a passport, not a password. What's this? That there's your official Ammo Town passport and activity book. Activity book? What's Ammo Town? It's your town's new name. New mayor, new name. But don't worry. So that, uh, so now that you're my gal. Thank you, Shante. And I'm your official lordship. Why don't you enlist into my private army? We even got an open air shower. Um. Uh, splish splash. <laughs> no thanks. I've got business to attend to. We're uh, far to the right of here. <laughs> We go. Boom. Shut down. <laughs> okay, sister, I get you. You look like a spry young thing. Why not train that bot at my private battle tower? It's citizen only. And it's ladies' night. Battle tower? Sure, you can't miss it. Just flash him your passports. Just don't flash him anything else. Make it to the top and you get it, prize. Tell him the ammo, ba ammo baron sent you. They don't yeah, expect it to be a Cyclops. <laughs> yeah, another gem. Yeah, Ammo Baron is uh, a character. And I guess you had to give him the deed to get the passport. Yep. I think Shantae uh, would have much more uh, would have much preferred kicking his ass for it, but oh well. But you can do that? Uh, no. Yeah, they're gonna kind of face you weird. You, you're given an option to say yes or no, but you don't actually have an option, really. True. And that kind it, of it's mostly to see you. your funny reactions. Uh, point taken. Do not is. There's been many cases where some games don't have funny reactions at all. Hmm. Unless you're lucky. Let's see. 
Oh dear. Uh, we won't be able to finish the battle tower in this stream. At but we can at the very least get there and get into it. So I, I very much doubt that we'll be able to finish it in 10 minutes. Behold, Milan, finish it in one minute. He looks so excited. I'm pretty sure this uh, this track is actually a remix of uh, Bandit Town from the original game. It has very oh, it has I... a lot of similarities. It's actually I really like the Bandit Town uh, yeah, track. I'll I'll put that on the Discord later. For now, though, it's very cool. You got a passport? Yes. Metal Tower rules are simple. Enter these 20 gems. Clock starts once you pass through that door. Beat the clock and you win. Also, a lot of folks died trying, so I hope you save first. <laughs> you sure you're ready? Yes. Okay, you're ready to go. Knock him dead. Then automatically we enter. And yeah, we just have to battle our way through this. The pike ball is actually going... Actually, we might be able to beat this <laughs> on this stream still. Nope, that's a big clock. And extend your time. Yep. Yeah, yeah, don't think we would have to get hit by that. Okay. Anyone else? Nope. Okay, moving on. Little clock. Big clock. Now I think the pike ball does the same amount of damage as one normal hit. Okay, that's that round. Yeah, as long as you're doing pretty decent at the fights, there's no way to lose this. I think it, I say that and we get an obstacle challenge next. <laughs> and of course... There we go. Okay. Simple enough, even with one... Level five. Nope. Ow. Oh, hello, knights. Come on. And okay, that's this four done. Not much to commentate on since well it, it's a battle challenge. Yeah, but a, a decent one. I did not like the uh, jumping <laughs> over uh, uh, things with chains. Someone's gonna need a ball. <laughs> and a lot of hair conditioner. And a shampoo. And so.
Okay, I... I don't actually know how many levels... <clears throat> how many... Yeah, levels there are to this. We have plenty of healing items. Luckily enough. Really just scarecrows. Okay, another one done. Um, yeah, how many level? How many of these levels are there? I'm guessing about ten or so. Hmm. Ten should be fair enough. If more than ten, then I'm getting worried. Okay. Still going up. But still eight. Or we just came from eight. And we're now on oh, level right. nine. Oh. Oh. Okay, we. St Ooh. Luckily, we have plenty of these. Oh. <laughs> Just in time there. <laughs> Chante angrily stabbing at her kneecaps. Okay, we are starting to get a bit lower on health. No, no, not on health, on time. Oh. Yeah, that time challenge, time is basically health. Okay, give me that, give me that. It's it, basically there those are impossible to miss, huh? Yeah, unless one is very reckless. And this one looks like it can be the finale. It certainly look has a feel of it. Come on. Oh, a blue one? Gates open, okay, going. Still going up. Oh, this is going to be it. Okay. Nope. Hello, real looking statues. Scarecrows. Minute 45, plenty of time, I think. Okay, just use the ball with these as well. Mummy's last, hopefully. Still got a minute ten, a minute five. <laughs> nope. Another one of you. Okay, come on, blue balls. <laughs> there we go. I would have thought you died there. <laughs> 44 and a half seconds to go. Or I, I think that's... Anyways, magic seal. Behold, a bell button. <laughs> and just in time. Because we have 20 seconds yeah. left. Looks like we've got a winner. Let's see what you found up there. Uh, what's that? Ma the magic squeal? I thought the animal baron only kept valuable treasures up there. Just junky junk. <laughs> it's 
too. That's embarrassing. Tell you what. We've got other stuff up there too, like actual cash prizes. Something worth something. So come back anytime for a rematch and I'll set you up with some real price <laughs> some real price you can use. <laughs> we'll track your back scores and all that. Really make it worth your while. And just so there's no hard feeling, take this here. Okay. Well, that, that must be the key that uh, Uncle Mimic was talking about that was lost. No idea what this thing's, that thing's for. Looks old, like something a wood sprite would use to wind their watch with or some dumb thing. <laughs> Take it, it's yours. <laughs> Thanks, Barracuda Joe. You're lifesaver. Kiss. <laughs> Don't say kiss to me unless you're actually giving me a kiss. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just words, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, you're doing that again. That going. Be sure to hit a save room first up on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Risky boots. I had a feeling you'd show up. I'm afraid my patience with you is starting to wear thin. Why don't you hand over both magic seals now and save you and your dear uncle? Any further unpleasantness? Never. Fine, we'll do this the hard way. You'll both beg for mercy in the end. You'll see. And off she goes again. And we're also going to be off to the save room. You sure there's a room? Uh, we'll, we'll head for the safe doom then, okay? <laughs> and, yeah, that's already two of the three seals in two hours. <clears throat> Let's go to here because that music is going to be pretty loud. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be busy with this game for too long. It is pretty short to my recollection. The games after it, though, are going to be a good size longer. So I think maybe we get one more stream out of this, maybe two, but we'll have to see. But it's kind of good to have a series we can be able to uh, go through a bit more faster than the other ones we've been playing. Yeah. But Monkey Island took quite a while. Okay, for now, let's exit the desktop and move over to this screen. If, yeah, there we go. I I've, I should time how long of a delay the Stream Deck has with this. And let's go look for someone to raid. Uh, let's see. Switch. Move this over here so I can actually Thank get you for joining, uh, Noon. <laughs> Thank you, Noon. Uh, let's see. Oh, little, little Karibo is playing... A uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Okay. Oh, Lil Tree is playing Genshin. Uh, Chaos D1 is playing Lost Epic. Casco Zoo. Uh, that's oh Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I I don't do well with uh, JRPGs just because they are so damn long. It's, it's like you need to invest into those like a a second job or something. Uh, uh, there's many JRPG uh, short names. Uh, not long, not na even names. <laughs> how long it takes for them to get through them. <laughs> oh, that depends which one you play. I think there are some short ones, but yeah, uh, most, the short ones are usually big extremely names easy. Are also big in time. Uh, let's go <laughs> raid Lil Tree. Okay, copy the title, head the channel. And slash raids start. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll double check the, the VOD of this for <clears throat> the audio, see if there needs to be a bit of tweaking gun or not. And uh, yeah, overall, I, I really like the Shantae series. I actually started with the fourth game and then <laughs> worked my way backwards from, well, Risky's Revenge to the next one. And yeah, then there's the fifth game, which I also liked, but a bit less than uh, the other games. 
but we'll get to that eventually. For now, though, right. uh, yeah. Thank you, Noon, for watching, and anyone else who is uh, anyone else who may have been watching now or later. Thank you as well, and of course, as always, thank you, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> We'll see if we can do another stream on Sunday. I don't think so because I think I have a late uh, shift then. So that won't be possible. Or maybe if we do it really early, like around noon. But we'll have to see. For now, though, thank you all for watching. Uh, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for the eagles.